Well, it's been one week since a deadly crash in Windsor Hills. And tonight, the last victim identified is being remembered by loved ones. KKL 9's Candace Crone is live in Windsor Hills now with more. Candace. Well, relatives of 42 year old Natisha Lewis had to use DNA to identify her because she was so badly burned from this crash. I want to give you a look uh, at the growing memorial here. Um, the coroner still hasn't officially released the victim's name, but family told me that they are heartbroken. She was killed in such a horrific way. Help us to help them. Jasmine Nelson placed fresh flowers around her sister's picture, 42 year old Natisha Lewis. She's the final victim identified in a horrific crash that killed five people and an unborn child at this intersection in Windsor Hills one week ago. My sister has children that are mourning, um, that are not aware. And it's just so tragic. It's kind of unbelievable to even be having this conversation. Um, my family is broken. We are grieving. The loving mother of six was headed to the mall with her friend, 38 year old Lynette Noble, who was driving when a speeding Mercedes Benz slammed into their vehicle and others at the intersection of La Brea and Slauson. The two friends died in the fiery crash. My only sister was the only sister that could not be identified like everybody else. That's why we're here so late because. My sister was a Jane Doe because of what the actions Nicole Linton took. And we do want justice for our sister. We're not only broken for Tisha, we're broken for all the family. The violent collision also killed 23 year old Asheray Ryan, her 11 month old son Alonzo, her boyfriend Reynold Lester, and their unborn son she was carrying. Prosecutors charged 37 year old Nicole Linton with six counts of murder and five counts of manslaughter. Authorities say the traveling nurse was going 90 miles an hour when she blew through a red light hitting several cars. Lewis's family said they're standing with all the victims, friends and loved ones to see that justice is served. I'm so sad that she died such a tragic death and I just one day hope that we get answers. All I want to know is why. Like I just want to know why. That's it. Now, Linton is currently being held on no bail. She is set to go before a judge on Monday for a bail review hearing. We're live in Windsor Hills, Candace Crone, KCAL 9 News. Back to you. Thank you, Candace.